Okay. Hi guys. It's the day after the eclipse and we stayed home for several days. Uh, we had an influx of people cause we were near the path. And so, and a lot of the roads go through where we are. So, or near where we are. So we just stayed home. We had a great viewing. It wasn't a hundred percent, but doesn't matter. It was beautiful and it was on our front deck and it was at home. We didn't have to travel, which was bonus. Uh, so today it is cleared out. There's a little less traffic. And I have traveled about 45 minutes to a town called Raymond, Maine. Is it Raymond? Yeah. Uh, and I'm going into the Salvation Army. This is where I came first. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to try to do some filming. It doesn't look too, too busy. Um, but we'll see when we get in there because who knows. But we're going to do like a thrift flip challenge. Uh, I've seen some other creators doing this. And... Uh, we're just, I mean, I usually flip a lot of my things that I get at Goodwill anyway, or Salvation Army. Um, but I'm going to try and find some stuff. And as I find it, I'll hopefully be able to get it home before I get this video up and flip it and show you what it's going to look like. And then we can continue on shopping. So it's just going to be kind of a pop in, pop out kind of thing showing you that. So let's go shopping. So the first thing in walking in the Salvation Army, they had the music really blaring in the area that I was in with the decor and glassware and things like that. The speaker was right over my head and it was blasting. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover for this, but um, I usually do anyways, so it's okay. Uh, we're going to just kind of peruse the glassware area. Uh, I don't typically buy glassware unless it's really something that I absolutely love, but if it's, you know, or worth something, maybe I may pick it up, but um, I didn't really see too, too much in this section here that I really liked. There was a couple things. I really liked the, uh, this candle holder, I guess is what it was. It was huge. Um, but it looked like it was a base to, uh, like a, the base was a cover to a piece of glass, I think, and somebody just stuck them together. So I really wasn't interested in that. These were kind of cool. I kind of like these. Um, they were very delicate though, and I was worried about transporting them. And, um, but I really liked both of them. There was a chip on one of them and so I decided not to to pick them up for that reason too. I just figured by the time I got home I would have, have it broken anyway so I didn't pick up anything in the glassware but I do like to look through and see what they have. This little tea set was really pretty with the little purple flowers on them. They, it looked kind of vintage. It had the creamer and the sugar dish, I guess, and I think the sugar dish probably should have had a lid, but it didn't. Um, but I just thought it was really pretty, and it did look vintage, so I don't know, it might have been. I didn't see any markings on the bottom, so I don't know enough about that stuff to um, pick anything like that up. But I like how they put things together in the Salvation Army by color. I guess they do that in the Goodwill as well. I was getting ready to finish up on this side of the aisle and go over to the next one when I found this really cute coffee cup. I thought it was so precious. I love the color. It's a nice, a fun yellow, and it had this little daisy on the top with a little bunny in it down inside, and I just thought it was so stinking cute, but they wanted $4.79 for it. 
And I just couldn't justify that for to pick that up and put in my booth. I guess if I was doing it for myself, it would be one thing, but I just couldn't couldn't pay for that and get the money out of it for resale, I don't think. But it was super cute. I really liked it a lot. So now we're going to switch over to the other side and see what they have over here. They have a few more wooden things and uh, some different items over here, pottery and stuff like that. So we're going to check that out. These funny faced mugs were so stinking cute and they're different. I'd, I've never seen anything like these before. So I thought for the price, they were really inexpensive and I wanted to pick these up to put in my booth. There was three of them there. So I grabbed all three, just in there. All the faces were so different, but so stinking cute. And they also had uh, another one there that was like a, an owl. That's a little sheep that I'm holding there. That was really cute, but they wanted a lot of money for it. They know what they have with their prim stuff for sure. So this was another pottery coffee mug, and this had owls on it. And I just thought it was so cute, and it was in great shape. So I decided to pick this up to put in my booth as well. Owls seem to sell pretty well, so I'm going to stick that in there too. I like this wood tray that I picked up and I think this is going to be our first project of the video. This is gonna be like a two for one project. We have the wood tray and then we have the uh, ceramic tile that's down in the bottom. This is supposedly for a loaf of bread that you can put in to the tray if you warm up the ceramic it will keep your bread warm so i am not going to use it for that so i took the ceramic piece out and set it aside and we're going to clean up the tray it's pretty nasty so we're going to give that a good clean and then as i was cleaning it I had a lot of the stuff that i thought would come off while cleaning it uh, ended up having to be sanded. It had like a weird, um, I don't even know, it was just weird around the top, so around the edges. So I just took my sandpaper and went around and sanded it. It was a little bit shiny anyway, so I figured before I paint it, I might as well just give it a good sand. So after using my green WIL paint that I had a little, I don't know, it was a couple videos back, I used it on some projects, and I just love how smooth this paint is. So I went on their website and found out they had buy two 32 ounce tubs of paint and get one free. So I jumped on that and I decided, well, I use black a lot, so we're going to get black and try it. So I thought I would open this up and give it a shot and paint this tray the black. I really like how this paint goes on so smooth and it just, it and it covers really well. I only had to do two coats on this to uh, get it fully covered. And then of course I went back and distressed it, but I think um, I really like this paint a lot. So I'm glad I got this. I also got a nice lighter green I uh, can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head, but it's a beautiful green color. And I'll put the links down in the description if you're interested in checking out their paint. Maybe they still have the sale going on. I'm not sure. I got this paper from Zazzle. I'll have that link down in the description for you if you're interested in checking it out. Uh, it is a hops malt 
decoupage paper and I liked the coloring on it and the, you know, just some of the details that were in it. And I thought this would look great with the black tray and have that decoupaged on the bottom of it. So I'm, I cut it down and I'm going to Mod Podge the bottom of the tray and lay that paper in. As my decoupage paper is drying, it's pretty well dry here, I am going to take a paintbrush with a little bit of black paint and go along the edges of the bottom. That just cleans it up any spots where the paper kind of goes up over the edge because I didn't cut it perfectly. This kind of covers it up and makes it look so nice and neat. Now we're going to make it not neat and we're going to distress it. So I'm taking some sandpaper going around the edges and I actually go along all the sides and distress it quite a bit from there as well. Then I have some antique wax. I love putting this on over the black paint and it just enriches and enhances that brown that's underneath and it also just conditions that black paint. I love how it looks. Okay, onto the ceramic tile that was inside of the wood tray. I'm just gonna take that and sand it down, get all that writing off it. Uh, it was fairly easy with just a piece of sandpaper. So once it's all cleaned down and smooth, I like the look of the gold speckles on it. And so I'm not going to paint it or anything. I just want to use the gold speckles as a background. So I took four beads and I'm going to use those as feet for the bottom of this. We're going to make this into a riser. I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and I cut it down just a little bit smaller than the bottom of my ceramic piece and I'm going to glue that on to the bottom. It's not completely flat and it's got all the ridges on it and I want it to feel like it is finished off on the bottom. So I'm just going to stick that piece on to the bottom of that tile and I used E6000 in hot glue so that it would stay on really well. And then I used E6000 in hot glue for my feet as well. And I glued those down. Now I'm going to take my jute twine, or jute rope actually, not twine. And I'm going to go around the sides twice. The Again, the tile has this unfinished edges on it. So I want to make sure that it looks nice and finished and I thought the, the jute rope would work really well. So now I'm going to take this uh, rub-on transfer from IOD. It is the Lover of Flowers and I'm going to just cut a nice a little poem and flower from that that's going to fit nicely on top. And that's what I'm going to use to put on top of this. I think it looks great with those gold speckles in the background. It brings out the lighter colors in the flowers. And I really like how this came out. It's very cute. <laughs>
So the next thing that I spied while in the Salvation Army was this wreath. I love the bright green, blues, and yellows that are in this. And I thought this would be great in my booth. They don't always sell all that well, the wreaths on their own. So I wanted to look around and see what else I could find that I could put with it to make it a little bit different and not just the wreath on its own. Getting down into this other section with some picture frames and pictures, I found this picture with the frame and I absolutely love this frame. It's a nice big thick frame and it's kind of a neutral natural color so I can paint it whatever I want, stain it, whatever, and I think it's going to look pretty good with that wreath over the front of that. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do for my next project. So the first thing I'm going to do with this frame is to stain or use my antique wax as a stain on the raw wood that is on the frame. So I'm going to just coat it on there and then wipe it back and it gives it a nice deeper brown look and it also sits down in the grain of the wood and as you can see it just makes the grain pop and I love the look of that. I think it looks so awesome. So I'm gonna go all the way around and do the whole frame and coat it and then wipe it back. Then I'm gonna take some ivory paint and I'm going to do a coat of ivory paint all over the picture of this frame. I'm not going to bother taking it out because it's all got paper on the back of it and it's all set up with the hanger and everything. So I'm just going to paint it just very carefully with my paintbrush here and just get a nice coat on there so that you can't see the picture underneath. I'm going to take some pages of some music sheets and I'm going to tear them up into different sizes and different shapes. Just going to tear them and I want to get the edges off where there's any void. And I want this to be full of the music and the music notes. So I kind of trimmed around the edges so that I didn't have so much dead space there. So I'm just going to use my Mod Podge and just randomly set these pieces down, putting them upside down, sideways, however, they're just going to go on however I pick them up and however they fit the best. And I'm just going to Mod Podge these on. So it's just going to take me a little bit to Mod Podge underneath and do another coat over the top to seal it in. I'm going to take my brush that had the antique wax on it and take wipe most of it off and I am going to just kind of lightly do a little swooping swishing motion around the edges to get a little bit of a distressed look and I want it to be a little bit darker closer to the frame and, and then as I come out into the picture a little bit I'm going to uh, lighten that up so it's not so dark. Now if with this stuff I like using this because if I get it too dark I can take a wet 
paper towel or rag and I can wipe back where I don't want it. Because it has that layer of Mod Podge on there, it's almost like it's, it's not almost, it actually is sealed in. So I can uh, go ahead and wipe that back. If it wasn't sealed, it may stick a little bit more and not uh, come off as easy. But because it is sealed with the Mod Podge, I can go ahead and uh, wipe that back if it gets too dark, which it does. And I'll show you what that looks like that I go through and wipe that back with a damp cloth. So as you can see, I'm just kind of brushing it lightly into the middle of the picture. I just want to get some uh, like uh, lighter look to it. I want it to hit those edges of the paper and get like dark spots and high spots and low spots by just hitting that paper. So, but there's going to be times when it's going to be a little bit too much. So I'm just going to take my wet paper towel and wipe it back a little bit. To make a hanger for this, I'm going to take a piece of burlap that I have left over and I'm going to just glue those edges together and then glue it around the back of the frame. And that's going to hold that wreath right up there really nice. Then I'm just going to fluff the wreath. It needs to be fluffed and, uh, you know, pieces turned and just I want to be able to see those pretty little butterflies. And so that's all I'm going to do to this, and I hope you like it. Okay, so the total in that store was $51.87. I got some really cool wood desks. Um, I bought, there was four there. I bought two because they wanted $7 a piece. I'm not sure how many people want to buy desks. I mean, they're going to be cool when I'm done with them. Anyway, off to Goodwill next. Um, that was a really good haul. So got some really cool pottery and um, little funky little coffee cups, uh, lots of cool stuff. My Goodwill trip is going to be a part two because I didn't have time to get any of the projects that I wanted to get done done. So I wanna be able to show those to you as I find them in the store. So if you liked these projects, let me know. Let me know if you have a favorite. Don't forget to go down and check out any of the links down in the description. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, please like, share, and subscribe. And check out this next video on the screen. I know you're going to love it. Have a great day.